You have 59 days. 59 days to decide on the future of this country. Don't lie to me. I am tired of lies. The absurdity of the claim that President Donald Trump, even the Donald Trump I knew before he was president, would call fallen soldiers losers and suckers is absurd. Disrespect the military? Are you crazy? From day one, this president has spoken proudly of and has been supportive of the United States military and law enforcement. And like everything else, he doesn't just talk the talk, he walks the walk. This week, The Atlantic claimed the president called deceased military buried in Ain Marne Cemetery near Paris, France, losers and suckers. The article cites four people. The accusers? To be able to quote exact words of the president, I would think the four people would have irrefutable, unblemished, unquestionable credentials. So who are they? You know them well. Anonymous. No names, no attribution, no ability to even question their veracity. Good old anonymous. You remember them. This is CNN Breaking News. Anonymous brought you the fake dossier. Anonymous brought you the false Russia collusion delusion. Anonymous brought America three years of hell as they leaked to overthrow a duly elected president. Anonymous, now 60 days before the election, seeks to wreak havoc in a presidential election. Now listen to the Atlantic editor-in-chief. Did they explain their thinking as to, as to why they wouldn't put their names to these accounts? They don't want to be inundated with uh, angry tweets. He didn't want them subjected to angry tweets? Mean tweets? Really? Go hide in a bunker somewhere. In a trial, the behavior of an individual, what he does, is often admitted to counter allegations inconsistent with that behavior. This president fought for an astounding increase of $738 billion in national defense to protect our military, whittled down and demoralized during the O'Biden years. Such was crucial to our country, which faces increasingly dangerous times with the ascension of China's military might paralleled with our own military suffering enormous cuts. So what happened here? It was November 2018. The president was in France to celebrate military anniversaries. One visit to Ain Marne Cemetery was canceled because of the weather. The Atlantic alleges through those trusty anonymous sources that the president canceled the visit because, quote, the helicopter couldn't fly. The Atlantic states the helicopter couldn't fly excuse was a lie. Really? Don't lie to me. We have concrete, demonstrable evidence that conclusively refutes this. Here is the email sent that day. Look, the helicopter really can't fly. Bad weather call for, to for today, United States Marine Corps military aid to the president. So I guess the anonymous source lied. Anonymous told the Atlantic, POTUS didn't go to the cemetery because he didn't want to get his hair wet. Really? Well, then please explain why the next day President Trump is at another ceremony under the rain on the same trip and explain all these other photos in the rain. Anonymous lied again. Anonymous says the president was unwilling to take a two and a half hour drive to the cemetery. Another lie that will be absolutely refuted by my next guest. So who was in the room with the president when that was discussed? Sarah Sanders, who no longer works for the president, tweeted this. I was there. This never happened. John Bolton, no friend of the president, says he was there and there was no talk by the president of losers and suckers. The left wants you to believe because the president and John McCain didn't get along. These allegations must be right. The president and John McCain were political enemies. Remember McCain's thumb-down defeat of the health care bill? Records actually show McCain directed the fake Russian dossier about Trump to the FBI. 
So how is it the people smart enough and strong enough to be in the president's inner circle don't have the chutzpah or the intentional fortitude to say it in public? But what kills me is when the anonymous liars are supported by people who know less than they do. Take, for example, this guy who was the mayor of some town in Indiana who tweeted, there are no words for how disgusting this is. When asked how he knew if it was even true, he says he can figure it out because the president thinks people who play by the rules or people who sacrifice for others are suckers. Really? Then why does he work so hard to get our economy on track? to provide for the military, to deliver on all his promises, to provide minorities with jobs that your cronies could never do. Look, things are not looking all that great for Joe Biden right now. He's even forced to come out of his bunker. The left's hissy fit knows no bounds. They will stop at nothing from impeachment to getting into our faces, to ignoring their jobs, to focus on destroying the president. When you don't have the facts, you resort to lies, but the truth is clear. The job numbers that came out yesterday were higher than even expected. 10.6 million jobs created in four months, the fastest labor market recovery from any economic crisis in history. Perfect time for a hoax. You have 59 days, 59 days to decide on the future of this country. Witnesses willing to come forward or good old anonymous afraid to come out of the shadows. As for me, I hate lies. Don't lie to me.